Altered Carbon, episode three. Let's go. What is this? What is this? They're getting beat at home? Once. Okay. That was a cool father. Fair enough. What kind of bedtime novel is this? This is horrifying. I wonder how they're gonna tie that door opens. I wonder how they're gonna tie that together. Like, do they mean there's they're gonna introduce a character who's physically doing that? Or is it more mental, like you've become this amalgam of all these other bodies, you know, when you Stack into something else, whatever they call it. Whenever you slide into another sleeve, um, is that a, like, or is it both? <laughs> Pose just in there. I've brought your clothes, sir. All right, okay. Guess he's not gonna be there every single time. An invitation or okay. With the doll, and I doubt if you want it in the shower. All right. This <laughs> evening. Couldn't it just send the letter up? What does ONI stand for? Yeah. Mr. Kovac. Something an network interface? Dude, uh, look at this shot. How freaking cool is this? Him on the phone? Just good work. Just good work. How long will that take? Done. I need to fly a Hind D. Hind D. Done. Oh, is he gonna like leverage? To what do I owe the complete lack of pleasure? Detective Ward. The daughter, maybe, to get chains to help him. So is this like showing that even the captain or chief, whatever, is under their? I don't say control because that makes it seem like they're right above him, but like they can, they have some sway over him too. I mean, he doesn't like her. He's trying to ruin her career too. But I'm wondering why he would uh, ask her to be there specifically. Unless like two birds with one stone, him and Miriam and the detective is three, but. This time I'm ready for you. <laughs> you want to lose a fight? You should talk about it first. It's a consensual death. He replaces the sleeves he kills. That that is true. Doesn't make him guilty. Sure as hell doesn't make. I didn't think about that. I don't care about anyone. Same. So right, because the guy in the morgue found it, so they just. Fell out of the sky from nowhere in Stonewall, and now. Been invited into a house full of. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's still got the backpack. Beryllium level. Beryllium level, motherfucker. What pants are. What pants is he wearing? This guy looks like a druid. Is this Altered Carbon's mouse sack? That thing looks. Like a needler. Hey. <laughs> Something for dessert. Knife. Mr. Weak. She's 2v1ing dudes with guns? Uh, Morpheus is fighting Neo. She caught the blade? The true strength of the wolf isn't fang, speed, and skill. It's the pack. Whatever world you needle cast into, build a pack. Find ways to inspire loyalty in a few capable locals. Even if many of them will ultimately be expendable. We are huh. all boys. We take, take what, what is, is offered. offered. Yeah. Dude, I love the camera effects they do with the colors. It's almost like this negative look. She's already moved out of the alley. That's a good sign. Some progress already. What the fuck? They took love. They took mommy away because she stole stars from the sky. But she was a hacker. They ripped her soul out through her eyes and froze it. They ripped her soul out through her eyes and froze it? Uh...
they ripped her stack out instead of from the back from the front and just like put her on ice. No, she just spins around and around. Spins. Her in the frost. Okay. She has icicles in her hair. Stole stars from the sky, like maybe stole money from the sky. She stole money from the rich, so they ripped her stack out and put her on ice. I'm just guessing. I mean, she moved to a bed. She, she has the doll. She's talking. What is a party like at Sun Touch House? Extreme organic di <laughs> I hope he carries that the whole way through. That's just too good. And they don't even mention it anymore. It's just casual. Of course he has the backpack. Of course he walks into the party with need to search the bag, sir. And it's got all these guns in it. Damn, Ortega. Extremely. You meet me upstairs. This is awkward. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Yeah. He should be there. He's his you don't even drink. personal I envoy. Not a month. I made him jam belly. Okay, she's reacted the same way I am. I'll just watch her do it. What? <laughs> the last sleeve got killed. So, <laughs> oh fuck, fuck me. Fuck me, of course this is a thing. Of course this is a thing. If you can kill the prostitutes, of course. MMA, you go to the death. And then you just get a new body. And they have kids. And... Holy shit. Okay. 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 Right? Right? Sure. Right. Of course. Of course this is a thing. Ooh, a little hint of romance there. Looking for leverage. Did she get any? Leverage? <laughs> be more interested in who was spying on me. Slept with a suspect. There's no suspect if there's no case, right? That's not a denial. <laughs> Stay out of my <laughs> No problem. And I, I still think she knows that guy. Not this, not, 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 fuck, not Takeshi, but the sleeve. So like, what if they were married or like boyfriend or whatever, but like, what if they were married and she's <laughs> trying to make sure he doesn't get this thing killed and <laughs> now he's going around big. <laughs> this fucking show. Is the owl real? Sure. This is. Supposed to show how gratuitous everything is. I have never taken a single life. Unlike you, I have a line that I have. And you're gonna have to break your one rule if you want to know the truth. And he mentioned, he mentioned also, I fought a war to stop people like you from happening, or something like that. We people like us fought a war to stop people like you from existing, something like that. So maybe not only the meths, but maybe like. Well, no, I was going to say maybe they stopped. They didn't want people to do the sleeve thing, but they would. Sorry, I was going to say maybe the envoys were before sleeves were a thing, but that doesn't make sense because they would needle cast into worlds and train up. So then, OK, that doesn't make sense. But maybe like, I don't know. I don't actually know then. Excuse me. So he OK, right. You ask that type of question to see what his reaction is. OK, so this guy didn't kill him. Next. Ooh. And just like that, he was gone. Are you even listening? No. You're supposed to be watching hey. back. Like the fuck am I looking at? Some, somebody going into a room upstairs? Wait. Another Miriam? No. What? Two Miriams? 
I guess that's not the weirdest thing. There could be two Miriams. They have a whole clone bay of them. That would be your something unique to... Ha well, I guess all of these people would be rich enough to do that, right? They're all on that same level. Ah, the old trick door. Ah, the old secret door. Jesus Christ! <laughs> 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 Can I have my guns back? Is Miriam in the help? Oh, that's not Naomi. Twelfth daughter. <laughs> what? What? The oh, okay, right. She had twenty one kids. Now kids are wearing their mom's sleeves and fucking people? Okay, sure, right. If this would all exist, yeah, this is Sure. So, all uh, right. But any of their son, any of their 21 sons or daughters could have hopped into one of their clones is what this scene is saying. So it could have been any of them. I mean, except for, I guess, maybe the guy that was like, I don't have anger towards him. Okay, so maybe not. This isn't about me. By you. Oh, so much is going on here. Are guests at this party. That's the way that they get right. Yes, naturally. Clarissa suggested bringing you back and took quite a commission on finding you. Why does this seem weird to me? Clar okay. Just read. Clarissa suggested bringing you back. Hey, Bancroft, we should bring back the last envoy. Because somehow I know there's the last envoy and they didn't all die. Because even Ortega's like all the envoys died. You can't be who you say you are. S Art and antiquity. I, why is this so weird to me? How does she know he exists without having found him? What am I getting hung up on? Clarissa suggested bringing you back. Hey, Bancroft, the envoy with the total absorb can help when no one else can help. Let's do that. I just have to find him first, but trust me, I know one of them from whatever a thousand years ago was still alive. I'm okay. I don't I don't know what I'm I don't know why this is so weird for me. Bringing you back. Okay. Whatever. Um, Let's keep going. I don't I don't quite a commission on finding you. You're just the intersection. How would she? Okay. Whatever. She deals in antiquities. Whatever. Like an overbred pet. They have their own ways. I was oh, is further than I'd been when I walked in the door. Is he the? About one thing I knew for sure. Something unique. So meet Janus, a rapist and a murderer who was scheduled for erasure. When I plucked him from the shredder and I offered him a place by my side. Right, cause of fucking course they could do that. Personnel. Of course he would say it this way. Ladies and gentlemen. Of course he would say it that way. The last What a dick. What an asshole. What are you doing here, Chains? Get this fucking drill working. They're flying around like I fly. Just trying to kill each other. Husband and wife. And they like, they want to fuck the other person up. Because if they... Kill them, then they get a better sleeve. And if they, yeah, if they win the fight, they get a better sleeve. And if they lose, then they go down. So they both want to. This is fucked. <laughs> Babe, I got this great offer from this Nigerian prince, okay? Here's what we're gonna do we're gonna kill. <laughs> they could choose not to fight if they wanted to. It's supposed to represent their entire family, that last sentence, I guess. It is a marriage. After all. 
And they want to go to the death. This isn't just a knockout. <laughs> Honey? <laughs> I don't want to go to the movies. This is for when you ask me, what do you want to eat? And I came up with suggestions and you didn't like any of them. So you get for showboating. And they love getting the blood on them. And they're licking it. He's not happy. I'll upgrade you both. And Bancroft has to know his envoy will kill both of them. And he gets to show off how powerful he is to everyone else. Because his envoy... Because he overall, he still wants to know who killed him. But he already knows his envoy is stronger than these two. And that's like a power play, not only for Kovacs, but for all the... Fucking hell. I like everything that's happening here. Even if he somehow dies, he could just re-sleeve the envoy. What is this guy doing, though? Now's not a good time to leave my six. <laughs> I kind of need you. Did he just kick her out of the way? <laughs> Did he just accidentally roundhouse kick his wife in the head? <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that blood didn't look too good, but... Uh, uh, do they just fall forever? No. Oh, fuck! Gone just went off. One of those fortunate accidents. <laughs> Show's over, folks. I like everything that just happened here. Miriam's Miriam's wet. He loves his wife too much to fuck her. So you love your wife too much to fuck her. I certainly love okay. my wife too much to let you fuck her. <laughs> You have anything to report on your investigation? Well, that's not true. He has 21 kids with her. I oh, okay. So we guess we have no idea. Wait, that's no. They still fuck. His 12th daughter is 67 years old, and they had Ziggy math. Oh God. Eight plus one uh, is 20 plus fucking hell. Did they have nine more kids? 12 plus 9, 21? They had nine more kids after her. So like eight years at least if it was just pumping them out. Six, seven, eight years, somewhere around there. So maybe they haven't fucked in 50 years. Maybe. Well, where is he going? What, what does he still have to do? Oh, right. No, that's the club. He's got a... Right, right, right. Visit the girl to see if she knows anything about, uh... She's been fucked up. Fuck. Behavioral adjustments. Right, because if you have a fucking kid, you don't give them 80... <laughs> Your kids don't have ADHD. You just rewrite... Right, of course. When they flash back to Ray and him, and they said the patch, then I remember what they said at the beginning with the patchwork man, and I was like, what does it have to do with this episode? Trying to piece that together. And then it flashed over his face, so I guess we'll figure out in the next one. I'm burping. Um, holy shit, man. Okay, so, right. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's helping Chains with his daughter, who's now living in the Raven, as well as her father. And that's from their envoy training, build a pack of loyal people, even if they'll ultimately be expendable. So that's like his framework. Um, I still don't understand why Ortega specifically was chosen to be at the Bancroft Manor. I get it for like story reasons. You just, you don't want to, put some random cop there that we don't know because then Ortega's doing something no one cares about, just normal police work. And this other cop is that we don't care about is doing what she should be doing. I get it, but I don't know why specifically, like what was the actual reason Bancroft chose her to be there? Um, that I'm not quite sure of. 
seemed like it could have been anybody. Um, and, but like the, the class dynamics, oh, I thought that was so well done. The class dynamics and the subtext in the conversations and what's being shown on the screen, just, there's a lot there and it was so good. The shit with the kids not getting any of the money if they die. And then the one kid who this whole time has been painted up as like, this kid could have killed his dad just because he's so, fuck you, dad. Isaac didn't do it. And that girl wearing her mom's clothing to fuck, <laughs> to fuck other people. And then the null gravity fighting with the, oh my God. I feel like I just want to go for a, a 30 minute walk after each episode and just think. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. Okay. That's episode three. Let's go to episode four.